This is how to set up the Nintendo Switch emulator Sudachi on the Google Pixel tablet. First, I'm going to pair a PS5 controller. Hold down the share and PlayStation buttons on your PS5 controller until your controller starts blinking. Then in the Google Pixel tablet settings, navigate to connected devices. Tap pair new device and then tap DualSense wireless controller and then pair. And now your PS5 controller is paired with your Google Pixel tablet. Swipe back to the home menu so we can start to download Sudachi. Tap the Google search bar or open Google Chrome and search for Sudachi. Scroll through the results until you see the GitHub entry for Sudachi. You'll know it's correct when you see the title, Sudachi is a Nintendo Switch emulator. Tap the result to navigate to the Sudachi GitHub repo. Scroll down and look for the releases section on the right side. Tap the latest release link. Then scroll down again until you see the assets section and then tap Sudachi EA release.apk file. You might get a security warning from Google about installing unknown apps. Tap settings to manually override this. Then tap allow from this source. You'll then see a pop-up offering to install Sudachi. Tap install to continue. Once it's installed, you'll get another pop-up and you can then tap open to open Sudachi. Now that we're in Sudachi, it's time to set a few things up. Let's tap the get started button to see what's next. On the next screen, enable notifications or you can skip this and tap next. Next, Sudachi needs a copy of your Nintendo Switch prod.keys file. You'll have to provide your own prod.keys file. I've grabbed mine from my modded Nintendo Switch. At this step, I'm going to plug in a USB-C flash drive, which has my prod.keys file as well as a dump of my copy of Mario Wonder to demonstrate how Sudachi runs on the Google Pixel tablet. Tap the select keys button and then navigate to where your keys file is stored and tap the prod.keys file. Next, tap the add games button and navigate to where your game files are stored. My games are in the same directory as my prod.keys file, so I'll tap use this folder to proceed. Then tap allow to grant access to that folder for Sudachi. And then tap okay to confirm that folder. Lastly, tap continue and you're ready to play some games. If all goes well, you'll see your imported game on the home screen of Sudachi. Tap a game to launch it. You'll have on-screen controls, which you can keep or disable. To disable them, swipe from the left side for Sudachi options. Then tap overlay options and uncheck show overlay to get rid of the on-screen controls. Pick up your PS5 controller and you'll notice that it works right away without any additional configuration. Mario Wonder runs pretty smoothly without any additional configuration. However, the shader compilation causes some stuttering the first time you play through a new area in the game. We're gonna make this a little smoother by adjusting one setting. To stop the emulation, swipe from the left and tap exit emulation. On the Sudachi home screen, tap the settings button, then navigate to graphics settings. Scroll down until you see use asynchronous shaders and then check that option. This will improve performance in areas where shaders haven't been compiled and results in an overall smoother gameplay experience. Go back to the home menu and then launch your game to test things out. The performance of the Google Pixel tablet in combination of Sudachi and the PS5 controller results in a near console-like experience, which is quite incredible. Frame rates are steady and areas where shaders have fully compiled and I feel like I could sit down and play through this whole game right now. If you've got any follow-up questions, leave a comment. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, leave a comment. If you'd like me to test out more games or make a different tutorial, leave a comment. Peace and love and we'll see you next time.